Ukrainian drones will surprise Russians with machine vision. Ukrainian drones do wonders. Every week we see successful UAV attacks on facilities in Russia. How many types of drones are in service with the Ukrainian army? What operations can they perform? Charter 97 media outlet talked with Colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Pilot Instructor Roman Svitan, about this. Every week we see effective strikes by Ukrainian drones, but the Russians cannot boast of successful UAV strikes. Shaheds have been hit more and more often lately. Experts said that Russians are bad at drones. The fact is that they are doing well with their missiles. Therefore, they simply do not need airplane-type drones, as in Ukraine. The Russians have 50 kilogram shaheds, he added. The Ukrainian forces can, with the help of mobile groups and anti-aircraft missile systems at the expense of a smaller territory of the country, destroy all enemy shaheds, which they do, knocking down the majority. The Russians have missiles that are much more powerful than any drone strike at some Ukrainian targets. The missile has a warhead of 500 to 1,000 kilograms and the drone has 50 to 70 kilograms. They just don't need this mechanism, Roman Svitan said. The expert talked about how many different types of UAVs can Ukraine use today. He said that there are already several dozen of them. Only drones of different levels are about two dozen, plus a dozen operational and strategic UAVs with a long range. Russia has been launching systematic attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure, causing lasting damage to critical facilities. But Ukraine, over recent months, has also claimed a series of drone strikes on Russian refineries and oil storage facilities not only in border regions like Smolensk, but also in territories hundreds of kilometers from the border. Ukraine, over recent weeks, has stepped up aerial attacks on Russian energy facilities in the hopes of crippling Moscow's ability to attack Ukrainian cities or or gain more ground in the industrial east. Top Russian general vowed that his country will destroy the NATO military alliance by 2030. Top Russian general Apti Alodinov, commander of Chechen forces fighting in Ukraine and an ally of President Vladimir Putin, has vowed that his country will destroy the NATO military alliance by 2030, according to Newsweek. Alodinov, who was appointed as deputy of the main directorate for military and political work at the Defense Ministry by Putin, made the remarks during a state TV broadcast where he spoke to Olga Skabaeva, co-host of 60 Minutes on channel Rossiya One. An excerpt of his appearance was shared on X by Anton Gerashchenko, a former advisor to Ukraine's Minister of Internal Affairs. Russian officials have regularly floated the possibility that Russia could strike NATO members in response to the aid and weapons they've provided Ukraine in the ongoing war. Apti Olodinov, Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov's closest ally, recently appointed to a position in the Russian Defense Ministry, tells Russian propagandist Skabaeva that Russia will wage a war for the rest of the decade and intends to destroy NATO. Gerashchenko wrote, Russia will win in this special military operation and on all other battlefields. Alodinov told Skabaeva, using the term adopted by the Kremlin to describe the war in Ukraine, which began with Russia's invasion on February the 24th, 2022. Yes, we will have to work hard until 2029 to 2030, but I can assure you that the outcome of this special military operation will be that the NATO bloc will cease to exist in the format in which it exists today, he said. Most of those states who today are running after America like mutts will kneel down and swear an oath to Russia, asking to be accepted into our coalition. Alodinov was named by Russian investigative newspaper Novaya Gazeta as a potential successor to Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, who is reported to have been diagnosed with necrotizing pancreatitis five years ago. News of the illness of Kadyrov has promoted the Kremlin to look for his successor, the publication reported. The armed forces of Ukraine will have an opportunity to use U.S.-delivered longer-range Atakms tactical missiles to strike targets in Crimea, the New York Times newspaper wrote citing unnamed Pentagon officials. According to the newspaper, Ukrainian forces will be able to use the recently delivered missiles to more effectively target Russian forces in Crimea. The goal is to put more pressure on Crimea, the paper says, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters earlier that U.S. President Joe Biden ordered to transfer a large number of Atakms tactical ballistic missiles to Ukraine back in February, with the delivery itself taking place in March. 
Later, the Pentagon press service said the handover was not made public on a request from Kiev recently, the US Senate approved a package of bills to provide military aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, to confiscate Russia's frozen assets for their transfer them to Kiev, and to impose additional sanctions on China. On April 20, the bills were approved in the US House of Representatives. The total volume of the package amounted to $95 billion. It includes, in particular, $61 billion for Ukraine, $26 billion for Israel, as well as funds for humanitarian aid to civilians in conflict zones, including the Gaza Strip. Biden signed the law on April 24. Earlier, the New York Times reported citing a high-ranking U.S. administration official that Washington delivered over 100 longer-range atoms to the Kiev government, as well as their modification with cluster munitions. The newspaper said that the U.S. administration kept the delivery secret with only several high-ranking members of the U.S. Congress being aware of it.